All right, folks, so I want to do a video tutorial on how to um, make this assignment, the presentation using Creative Commons items. So I'm going to go into the copyright folder and then I'm going to go into using Creative Commons items and the assignment making a presentation. So let's see. I just want to make sure I understand all the specifications. So I need to pick a topic. And I think the topic that I'm going to do uh, today is going to be on Vishla dogs. And so it needs to be a few slides and will contain images, text, music, and a video. And this all needs to be Creative Commons. So the first thing I'm going to do is click here to get a copy of the slideshow. And if you're not logged into Google, you'll get a little different message that says um, that, hey, you need to log into Google first. So I'm going to make a copy. And this presentation is going to have uh, a few assets in it that are that's going to make your life a little bit easier. So while that's loading, I'm just going to come back over here and see. Let's see. Create an artifact. It should reflect the topic you choose. Make use of the items you found licensed by Creative Commons. Uh, so then it has to be either BY, which is attribution, attribution with uh, share alike, or attribution, share alike, and non-commercial. Uh, notice that it doesn't have the non-derivative because there's not really, um, th that doesn't really help you too much when you're using uh, Creative Commons. So let's see, the first slide should include your name topic in the prevailing license, the entire presentation. So here's the deal with prevailing license. Some of the pictures we get might be BY, some might be BYSA, and some might be BYSANC. And then the same for the videos, if, if I get them from YouTube, they're all going to be BY. And if I get music, it kind of depends. Um, but let's assume that most of the work that we get is just going to be BY, which is attribution, then that's the prevailing license. But if most of the work we have is BYSA, then the prevailing license is BYSA. And you should always say the, um, in, in this case, I would say this work is BYSA unless otherwise noted or uh, whatever the prevailing license is. If there's some exclusions, then you have to note that they're exclusions. So let's see. Um, and that's what this, this paragraph here represents that. So this presentation must include at least one image, one video, some text, and one piece of music. So here's some different uh, at places you can go to. I'm actually going to go to Pixabay, and uh, I'm going to type in Vishla. I don't know if I'm going to find anything here that's kind of a, a unique dog breed. Oh, and I think we're going to be okay. So these are all Vishla dogs. So let's see. Um, I think I want to use, for my title slide, I'm going to, I think I'm going to do this. This has kind of like a businessy feel. So I'm going to download it and we'll, uh, I might use it um, at that resolution. Now, in a, alternatively, I could have, instead of downloading, I can just right click and copy image and then go over here. So let's see. I'm in this presentation now. I'm going to delete all that and I'm going to uh, paste in that picture of the dog and it says that. I need um, to actually do control V to paste. So let me see, maybe I'll get that lined up and I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. So I can either pick one of those under zoom or if you click on the zoom tool, when you click, it's going to zoom in. But if you hold control while you click, it'll zoom out. So I just want to see a little bit more. So I'm going to go to the arrow tool and let's see, I want it to be at least the width of it. Now, you'll notice if I move it aside that it actually spills off the canvas. That's okay. Um, if anything spills off the canvas, it just won't show when you present it. So let's say that we had a really big picture. Um, let's see. So you'll note here that the canvas is right here. So it's gonna go through the dog's eyes. Uh, so if I present, then we'll just cut it off and you'll see just like right, right at the dog's eyes. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to do control Z, which will undo everything. And I actually like to have my images the same size as the canvas. I don't need to. Um, again, anything that's hanging off won't show. Uh, but if you double click on an image, you get into this crop tool. Alternatively, if you're clicked on an image, you can click this crop tool. And then you can grab it by that black piece, that black handle and it will actually uh, crop the image, which is different than resizing the image. That's resizing the image, see how it kind of looks funny? Cropping it means you're cutting off part of the picture. Okay, so I have a picture of a dog here, and let's see, um, I kind of want to have it say, Vishla, that'll be the presentation title. V-I-Z-S-L-A. And, oh, that's kind of small. So let me make that, oh, I don't know, 60. Is 60 big? You know what? I think I'm going to make it bold. I think that I want to have it centered. 
And I think that actually 60 is a little too small. So I'm going to change it to 72 and I'm going to make, I'm going to keep it black. So it's really hard to see, but what I'm going to do um, is make a rectangle. Actually, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to color in this text box and I'm going to give it like a gray and maybe I'll just bring it down to the bottom. And one thing you can do if, if you want, actually, you know what? I, it might look better if I align that to the right and then bring it up here just because it will kind of pop up there. Vishla. Okay. So now, um, just because uh, I think I should, I'm going to credit this person. So Moonzig. So I'm going to copy that text right there, come back over here, and Control V will paste it. Uh, maybe I'll just type it in. So I'm going to go to the typing tool and type in Moonzig. And I also want to get the, the URL here. So I'm going to copy that because when you credit people, uh, it's always good to kind of put a link to where you can find their work. It does say no attribution required, but what I'm going to do is, I guess I'll zoom in here. You can also, if you're zooming in, click and drag. So I'm going to say uh, art by Moonzig via Pixabay. And then I'm going to highlight Moon's Egg and actually, you know what? I'm just going to highlight the whole thing and make that a link that'll go to Pixabay. And I kind of want this to pop too, so I don't want it to be blue. I'm going to make it um, almost black right there. Actually, you know what? I am going to make it pop. I'm going to make it white. And then I'm going to zoom out by hitting control while I click on that. And I'm going to put this where it can be seen. So I think, let's see. If I, again, align that to the right, um, and I can put it down. I'm actually hitting the down arrow right now, uh, just, so, um, just so I can kind of control a little bit better. Okay, and I'm gonna make this say Vishless. So let me click back over here and see what the first slide needs to have. Um, the, it should include my name, the topic, and the prevailing license. So I don't know the prevailing license right now, but I do know my name. So I'm going to, uh, maybe I'll just do Vishless by Dave Gadu. And I'm gonna make that a bold. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I think that was 72, so I'm gonna go 36, uh, make it about half as big. And I'm gonna make it not black, but gray. And I'm going to right align that. Now, if you don't like going here, if you're more of a keyboards person, you can do con control, sh uh, control shift R, I think in a, on a Chromebook does that. And I'm going to align it right there and then use my up arrows. Okay, so I don't know my license type yet, but I do know that I have an image, so I can cross that off the list. Um, and I have the art right there, so it's time to insert a new slide. And I guess I'm going to be doing a video, so I'll put one of these slides in there, and I'll say, like, video of Vislas. Uh, oh, and it is worth noticing, um, down here, on these two slides, these are hidden, which means, you know, if you right click, it, there's a check next to skip slide. So when I present that actually won't show. So when, you know, if I go to present my slideshow, I'll have that slide and the next slide and then the slideshow is over. So on this slide, I put, if you decide to use work, which I'll be doing in the next example of BY, uh, let me just zoom in so you can see that. Uh, I have like the little icons for BY and share alike, so you can um, just use those. So you, you'll see what I'm doing in the next one. And then also on this last slide, I have like links to Pixabay, Unsplash, Gratisography, uh, Open Music Archive, Free Music, uh, and YouTube. In fact, I'm going to go to YouTube right now, and I'm going to search for Vishlas. So if you watch the other video on how to find Creative Commons stuff, um, 
you know that if you have a topic and you go to filter, you can say Creative Commons. And this is CCBY. So let's see. Oh, the trail dogs. That's, oh, I know that dog. So um, this is Ruby the trail dog. I'm going to put this video in there. Uh, and to do that, all I need is the URL. Then I'm going to come back over sh here to this presentation and I'll say, meet Ruby the trail dog. And you go to insert video and you'll need that URL. Uh, and I think I just pasted, I just copy and pasted it. So, yep, that's the one that I want. And I'll hit select. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is while that video is loading, I'm going to go to the right. Let's see. I kind of like having, um, oh, I think this will, ooh, there's so many good pictures here. There's some trail dogs right there. Um, let's see. I was kind of hoping I could find a video of a Vishla or a picture of a Vishla. Let's see. I think I'm going to do this one. Uh, and you'll see why in a minute, because I want the dog not in the center of the picture. Oh, that's Shutterstock. So I clicked on the ad. The images up top are ads. I'm going to click on this one. This will work well, I think. Oh, look at that cute little dog. So I'm going to right click and go to copy image. Then I'm going to come up here. And in the background, I actually want... Um, Oh, I forgot I have to hit control V in the background. I want this dog, but the problem is now that the dog is in the front of everything. So if I right click, I can go to order and I'm going to send it to the back, which means now it's the lowest, uh, um, it's behind all the other things. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I'm going to work some magic here and bring the Vishla. I think I'm actually going to do this. And again, I, I don't know where the slide begins and where it ends, but I'm going to do that and just kind of crop it so I can see exactly where the ending is. Okay, that's pretty good. So this is kind of cute. So now we have the dog kind of staring at the video. Um, and let's see, I think I'm going to make that bold. And actually, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit and bring it to the left. And again, I use the arrow keys for that. Uh, and I think I'm going to bring it. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it right there. That's good. So you can click on the video just to watch it if you want. Um, but if you, if you right click on the video, you can go to format options. So we have a few different things. Um, like do you want it to play immediately? Is there a specific part where you want to start at? So I'm going to say, autoplay and also mute because I know this video and it's got some like loud noises when I'm making a presentation. I don't want to show that because maybe when I'm presenting about uh, Vishla's, I might just want to have this video playing in the background while I talk about it. Uh, let's see, size and rotation. I'm not going to worry about this. I think the size is good uh, where it is. I don't, uh, maybe we'll drop a little shadow there. So when you drop a shadow on a, vi on a video, actually on any object, um, let's see. I think this is working. Maybe you can't drop a video on. There it is. So you can play with this and kind of get it how you want um, the shadow to look. So I'm going to bring it back down here and I'm going to make it a little bit more blurry so just to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, so that kind of offset it from the background of that visual right there. So now we have, now I have to go back over here and I want to get, okay, so this is, Shem, Chiamzi 2016. Um, I just want to get the username right. So then I'm going to come here and I'll probably say, now here's a tip, if you do control V, you'll get some weird formatting because uh, when I pasted it, it's when I pasted it from when I copied it from here, it's white text with a gray background. So if you don't want the formatting, I'm going to hit control Z to undo, hit control shift V and that'll paste just the original text. 
And so I'll say, uh, let's see, how did I format it over here? Art by, okay, so I'm gonna say, let me get this URL. I'm gonna say on this slide, Art by GMC via Pixabay. I'm going to select everything, and I'm going to again. Um, let me close this right here. Make it a link, and I'll paste in the URL from where I got it from. All right. So I'm not sure if I'm enamored with the color of that. I don't think it's going to pop enough uh, on kind of like that snow background. So let's see. I'm going to change it to be kind of like a dark gray. And then another trick I'm going to use is to rotate it. And I did it by clicking on that little knob right there. Uh, and I'm going to put it up here. And again, I'm going to use the right align, which will bring it up there um, to the top. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys just to move it there. Okay. Now for the video, um, because this is Creative Commons, and you can double check by going to the license and it's Creative Commons attribution license. So this is from this company right here so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to come over here and so let's see because i know this is ccby well the first thing i need to do uh is paste and get the um the user's name in there and i'm going to say let me uh, zoom in so you can see this I'm gonna say, ooh, let me scroll that over. I clicked on the wrong slide, okay. I'm gonna say video by via YouTube, and I should get that link, which is here. Control C to copy that, uh, Control A to select. And that, actually the Control K is a keyboard shortcut for hitting this button. Uh, but I'm going to put that link in there. And again, I'm going to highlight that all and make it gray. Now, here's what I like to do if I'm going to be kind of like putting it underneath the video. I like to make the text box the same width. And then I like to center the text so I know that the text is centered directly underneath the video. Um, and because I know that this is CCBY, I'm going to steal one of these uh, just by hitting Control C, which will copy it. And I'm coming over here. And I'm going to do Control V. So I'm going to put that right there. Uh, actually, I'm going to put it right there. It's kind of weird because it has a white background around it. So I should probably change that in the future. And, you know, I'm going to leave it here, uh, but I will put a border around it of one pixel and I'll make it solid black just so it doesn't look weird with that um, kind of white background. And again, I'll change that white background. Okay. So this is uh, pretty cute. I think we've done a video. We've done the Vishla. We've uh, put licenses here. Now note that I didn't put any of these licenses. I'm sorry, any of these licenses next to the pictures of the dog, because a dog is not, um, this picture is not Creative Commons. It is free for commercial use and no attribution required. So I could, I, that I can use that, um, the, the spirit of Creative Commons so that you can use things. So this is okay. The Pixabay license is a little, um, I, I'm not a lawyer, so I, I don't want to say exactly what this is and, and advise you. Um, but it seems to me that it's close enough to uh, Creative Commons that I can use that. So you can um, Google that and research it a little bit on your own if you want. Uh, but I, you're fine using Pixabay because uh, it's similar enough to Creative Commons. Um, and so let's see, now we need music. Ugh. Now the music is the hard one. I like Free Music Archive. The Free Music Archive has a lot of cool songs and it's very easy to use. The one catch is once you have a song, then you need to put it in your Google Drive before you can use it. So I'll just start playing these. These are recently added songs. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, you know what? Uh, I like that. Now, I could go through here and play all the songs, but I'm just going to hit this download button. 
and I can see it's downloaded. So here's the only catch. You need to create, uh, you need to upload that song to your Google Drive. So I'm going to do that. And so let's see, I'm going to create a new folder uh, just because I don't have one for FLCC yet. And then I'm going to go into FLCC and I'm going to make a new folder because I'll probably be doing a lot of uh, work for this class. So this is 121 technology in education. And so I'm going to go in here uh, and then I'm going to just take this one song and bring it in there. But while that's uploading, I just want to go back over here and see what license this is. So if I actually click uh, on this song, let me go back. I think I clicked on his name instead. I'm going to click on the song and it will bring me there. All right, so this is CCBYNC. So now I have to come over here before I forget. So let's see, I think maybe I'll do one more song. And so I'm going to, or one more slide and I'll put the, the music there. So I'll do another one of these. Um, and before I forget, I'm just going to, let's see. Oh, I forgot what that license was. It was BYNC. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna copy, actually, if you hold control, it will allow you to select two different things. So I know it looks like I have three things selected, but I don't. Um, if you hold control, it will allow you to uh, pick and choose what you want to copy. So I'm going to copy both those by control C. Then I'm going to come over here. And when I paste, you'll see that it just got those two. Uh, and I'm going to bring those close up. All right. So now let's see, I need that music. So I'm going to insert audio. And this is a relatively new feature in Google size, by the way. And here it is right here. So that will be the music. And also before I forget, I should. Uh, so let's see, David Hillowitz. So just like before, I'm going to create a text box. And control shift V will paste it without um, we will paste it without the formatting. So I'm going to come over here and the name of the song is Gradual Sunrise. So maybe I'll copy that and then work my way over here. Music is Control Shift V by David Hillowitz via Free Music Archive. So I'm going to come over here, grab the link and copy it. Come over here, highlight all that, Control K, Control V. All right, and I don't know what color scheme I'm gonna use right now, but uh, so let's see, did you know? Uh, let me move this down just so, actually I'm going to move it way down to the bottom. There it is. Um, let's see, let me right click on this and see what our options are. So just like the videos, we can say, oh, we want it to play automatically. So as soon as this slide gets here, it's going to play. Um, and I want the volume to be, I, my intention is if I were presenting this in class, I'd want to be talking over. So I'm going to see what this volume is like and see what, what happens. Now notice that you can actually hide the icon when presenting, which I may do. I'm not sure. Uh, the, I can loop it, which I'm going to do just in case when I'm on the slide, I'm talking for like four or five or six minutes because this track is only like two minutes and 12 seconds. Um, and I'm... You can have it so it stops when you change the slide, or you cannot, but I'll, I'll leave it there. Um, and actually what I'm going to do is move this stuff over. Um, okay, so I'm happy with the, the formatting there. Uh, but I just want the people to know when I'm presenting. I want them to know that there is music going on. So what I'm going to do is take this and bring it all the way over, just like that. And so let's see, I'm going to bring this down in here and I kind of want the, I want that icon to be a little bit bigger just so everyone knows. And I'm going to move this up and a little bit to the side. Now it's okay that this is hanging off the, the screen. That's fine. That doesn't really matter. 
Um, but I do want some text. So if I go to Wikipedia and let's see, I think I want to look and see what they have for Vizslas, V-I-Z-S-L-A. And for this assignment, copying and pasting directly from here is fine. Um, and by the way, here's another source of images. If I click on this particular image, it will say, oh, this is CCBYSA uh, or this file, uh, it looks like all of these are, oh, this is CCBY. So maybe, you know what, maybe I'm gonna use this image because I kind of like this image. So I'm gonna copy that image. I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna paste it just like I did before. Um, and this time I'm gonna give it a little bit of like artistic flair. Uh, and again, it looks like it's in the front. So I'm going to go, uh, let's see, order, and I'm going to send this to the back. Um, but that's kind of too dark. Um, and, and it's not really working the way I want it to work. So what I'm going to do is make a rectangle. This is a Dave Gadu original trick here. Uh, and I'm going to, I should probably make the rectangle the same exact size as the Vishla picture. Uh, and I don't know where that left border is. So what I do is bring it to the left or to the right so I can bring it exactly to the left. Now, I don't want to have a border, so I'm going to make that transparent. And the fill, I actually want it to be custom. Um, so I want it to be white. And the transparency, uh, I'm going to say here and see what that looks like. And that's made the image a little bit lighter. So, but the problem is like that rectangle is above the text and it's above that icon. So I'm going to, instead of sending it back with the order, I'm gonna send it backward, which brings it down one layer. And then I'm going to send it backward again. And you can see that the music icon has come up. So I'm going to send it backward again. And I'm going to send it backward again. It knows that this is just control down arrow. So I'm going to keep doing control down. So if I do control up, it promotes it. Control down um, demotes it. So I want it just like this. Okay, so that looks kind of cool. Um, I don't like the way that this looks. So what I'm going to do is... Let's see, I'm going to take this and rotate it and stick that right up in there. And then the same for those. So let me just zoom in. I'm not sure how I'm going to organize these yet. Um, I think what I'm gonna do actually is rotate this one and bring it up there and rotate this one, which I think is the non-commercial one. And I'm gonna use my arrows uh, and let's get that. And we'll give it a little bit of, oop. We'll give it a little bit of, um, breathing room to this one too. So we'll nudge that up or down. Okay, so let me step back and see how this looks. So did you know, um, and my intention is to put some facts from Wikipedia. So that's why I was here first. So I'll just say, Vistas are very high energy, gentle, man, loyal, caring, and highly affectionate. That's one good fact. So I'm gonna copy that and just because I'm going to be going from tab to tab, I'm going to, let's see, paste that, control shift V. Um, and you know what? I kind of want that bulleted just because it's gonna be a presentation. Uh, so I guess I'll click on that. And I kind of want that font to be a little bit bigger than 14. Let's do 24. And I'm only gonna do two or three different facts. And because I didn't, copy that footnote because yeah, I don't really need that in a presentation. I'm going to get rid of the nine. Um, and oh, and copy that fact. Control shift V. 
And let's get one more fact. Golden rust color in several shadings. So I'm going to copy that, hit return, control shift V. Um, okay, I kind of like that. Uh, to me, this is a little cramped. So I'm going to go to line spacing and add a space after each line item. I'm, I'm okay with this. Uh, let me make this a little bit bigger because this font should be bigger than, this should be the bigger font on the screen. So that's 28 right now. I'm going to make that 36 just so it kind of like pops out a little bit. Um, okay. And you know what? There's one more thing I want to do. I want to get a picture of, I'm going to go to unsplash.com because I want to get a picture of a Vishla there too. <laughs> Those are some good Vishlas. So I'm going to take maybe this picture. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to bring it over here. Now, check this out this tool um first i'm going to kind of crop it then you can actually crop a shape or crop an image with any of these shapes so say i really love dogs oh that's cute but it didn't quite get the the top of the head so i'm going to put a little extra space in there now when i crop this dog with the heart oh that's kind of cute um so ooh, and you know what again i want to give it some dimension so the first thing i'm going to do is i'll give it maybe like a two pixel border and again i don't want to uh, completely back so i'll pick uh, one of the darker ones and then if you right click and go to format options uh, instead of size and position i think i want to drop a shadow on this one too you can see a shadow kind of happened. I'm going to bring, increase the distance and increase the blur. Uh, all right. So now I'm going to bring this over here. And I might make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put it right here. But now the problem is that this text is behind it. So I could I could send this backward uh, with order. And actually, I, can, I, I don't have to risk anything. I can send it right to the back. But I don't like how the text uh, kind of is not visible. So I'm going to hit shift enter and it will force it to go to the next line. If I just hit enter, it would make a whole new bullet. So if you hold shift enter, it kind of goes to the next line. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, let me close that up. And I didn't, I didn't do the appropriate, uh, I didn't do the appropriate attribution so i'm going to say this is by so i'm going to copy that now what i'm going to do is create my text box control shift v uh, image by graphic code via unsplash and i'm going to come over here get that url copy it select everything paste in the url and Let's see. I'll shrink this and I'm going to maybe put it here. Let's see. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm going to use that same trick, shift enter, and then I'm going to align everything to the right. And I'm going to creep that down just a little bit, step that down, just because I want it to be uh, all over the white so that you can still read it so it's not obscured by the background of that image. Um, and because, so let's see, the rights at unsplash.com um, are CC0. Um, so what I'm going to do is come back over to this screen. Do I have, I don't even have a CC0 here, so I'll have to add one in. Um, and I can't do that right now uh, because I don't have the CC zeros here. So I'm going to um, add that in later, but I should say it's CC zero. So let's see, I'm going to come up here and do my pr presentation and see how it looks. So this is where I'd be presenting from a class or a corporate board. And I'd say visual is by me, Dave Gudu. Um, and I, I know I still have to put the license on them, the prevailing license. 
So then I can go through here and the video will start playing automatically, but note that there's no audio. So I can be sitting here talking um, during the presentation, having this like video of Ruby, the trail dog running um, with this other cute little V. So looking at it and you can see that like all the attributions are there. So that's good. Um, one thing I didn't do in when I made this document, which I normally do is I stepped down the font size for my attributions. I usually use like nine because nine, you can still see it. It's there, but it doesn't, it's not obtrusive. It's a little bit big here. And here's the music. So I could start talking about Vizsla's. Now there's a few things I want to do. I noticed that that music is a little too loud. So I'm going to step that volume down even more. I just want it to be like mood music. And the other thing is I want these to appear one at a time. So if you go to insert animation, then, oops, then the side. Okay, so this is fade in on click. Um, and if I click on it once, it'll expand. And I want to say by paragraph. And what this means is uh, every line will appear after I click. So if I was had like a clicker every time I hit a button, um, it would it would show, or if I'm on my computer, which I'm gonna be every time I hit the space bar, the right arrow, it'll show. So I'm gonna try presenting just a side, see if the volume's right. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then I'm gonna hit the right arrow on my keyboard, the right arrow or space, that'll that'll reveal them. So this is a pretty sweet presentation. By the way, speaking of the font size, if I had made this nine as opposed to, gosh, I don't even know what size this is. Um, let's see, this is size 14. If I'd made it nine, uh, it would be a little bit more out of the way. In fact, I'm going to show you what it would look like. So normally, and don't feel bad about doing this, uh, nine is 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 a um, oftentimes a better font size for attributions. So I would I might make this one nine two just so it matches. And then because I changed that size, I think I'm actually going to move it over here. And I don't have the CC zero. So let me see, let me take stock of this. Oh, and the Wikipedia, I forgot to quote the Wikipedia. Wikipedia is, um, let's see, what's the, I think this is CCBY. So I just have to see um, what the licensing is for uh, this. Oh, CC share alike. Okay, so this is BYSA. So now, uh, I'm going to copy that URL. And, and if you didn't see that, this is where it is. CC attribution share alike. So that's um, BYSA. So uh, because I used that text for this, I just like legit straight up copy and pasted. Um, I need to give attribution for that. Uh, and I'm not suggesting you do this in research papers, but for this presentation, the exercise is getting used to write uh, attributions and licensing. So I'm going to say text from Wikipedia. I'm going to highlight it. And again, I could hit control K, which will give me the link, or I can hit that button, paste in the link, which is control V. Um, and since I'm here, I'm going to step this down to nine. And... It's a little hard to see this, so I'm going to change the font and make it um, not oops, not black, but pretty close. And maybe I'll put it, let's see, I know this is really bothering me that this text box is so long. Uh, it's a good idea to kind of clean things up if you can. Um, let's see, where's a good place to put this? Well, we'll put this right there. That'll, that'll be good. Um, that, that looks pretty nice. So one of the problems though, when I present is you're going to see that text there before you even, before you even see text. So what I'm going to do is click on that box and insert animation. And so now this is that text box. I'll have this fade in on the click as well. In fact, I'm going to have it fade in after the previous. What, and what that means is when I'm presenting, it won't be there originally, but after the third one, it'll appear with it. Okay, so I kind of like that. That's pretty nice. That that looks uh, pretty good. So uh, I think I'm about done. I should probably put, so that was B-Y-S-A. So I should probably do the copy that and copy that. That's going to be control C. 
and come back up here and I'm going to paste them in. So I'll just have to figure out like where I'm going to put B Y S A. Um, but kind of one of the problems I'm going to have now is the same problem I just had. So when I go to present, it's going to have those two things right there. So what I'm going to do is, oh, if I highlight this one and hit select, then I want this to fade in with previous. And I also want this one to fade in. I like doing uh increasing that speed with previous. So I know I forgot to change the speed of this one to be fast. So there it is. Um, and let me just present and see how this looks. Okay, cue the music. Visas, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that looks good. They all kind of appear at the same time. All right, I like that. That looks really, really slick. Um, and let's see, so let's see, we had a BYSA, then we had a uh, on this screen, we also had the BY uh, non-commercial. And then this is just Creative Commons zero. Then we just had Creative Commons. And then we had the Unsplash one, so or the Pixabay one. So this actually spans all sorts of different licenses. Um, so there really isn't a prevailing one. In other words, I don't think I had one, one Creative Commons license that was the majority of the items in here. I kind of like sampled something from everything. So, uh, but because I did a really good job of labeling and saying, hey, this is CCBY, this music, or this text is CC share alike, uh, and this is, um, and then the, the, this, I think the music was, uh, non-commercial. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, it's kind of fuzzy what the right answer to is here, but I think the best thing to do is to say this is CC BY, so it's Creative Commons, attribution, share alike, non-commercial. I think I'm going to say it's all of those, uh, unless otherwise indicated, because I did a pretty good job of indicating um, which ones are which. So let's see, I'm going to Uh, say, ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm going to take all three of those, copy, bring them over here, paste, and let me just drag them off here. By the way, you can use this as like a staging area. It won't show when you do your presentations. Um, if it's like off in the, that like staging area. And let's see, for my text, I'll say all work. All work is CC, BY, SA, unless indicated. Uh, I don't, let's see, I don't think that's going to fit in that text box. So I need to make that text a little bit smaller. That's 14, so we'll do 12, Control Shift R to get that on the right. Um, Control shift E to center it. And one thing, I don't know if you can tell, so uh, let me zoom in, is that I still have that wonky um, white border behind that icon. So what I'm going to do is just change this actual box to have a white background. So that still looks good. And then shift up arrow, up arrow kind of snaps it into like quarter inch increments. But if you hold shift while you do it, it's called nudging. You can kind of like nudge it just uh, a little teeny tiny bit. So now I'm going to zoom out. Um, oop, zoom out. Actually for this particular one, I'm going to do view uh, fit. So it just fits everything in there. Okay, so uh, right before I submit it, I want to go to present. And we have the image, we have our title, the name, and our license. Um, then we have the video that starts. We have the video that starts right here. Um, that looks pretty good. I like that. And then when I right 
go to the next one, then I have the music playing and I can do these quotes, everything appears. Wow, this is a piece of work. Everything here is beautiful. Um, now to submit it, you have to go to share, get shareable link and all this is in the um, documentation and you have to say can comment because I need to be able to put my comments on it. So you just hit copy link, done, come all the way over to Blackboard uh, and let's see. So if I click on assignment, make presentation, So write submission and just put the link in there and hit submit. And while that's submitting, you can see the little 